From this simple practice itself check, we want to assume that a two-dimensional rectangular array of integers called data has already been created with four rows and seven columns. So we don't need a code for this, but you just need to understand that we already have a two-dimensional array of integers. It's going to look like this int and it's called data and it's equal to a new int where we have four rows and seven columns remember it's uh, column it's rows before our columns so four rows and then seven columns now we want to write a for loop to initialize the third row of data to store the numbers one through seven so we can take this make a comment because this is what we're going to be doing our for loop we are going to run it as long as um, our column is less than the amount of columns that we have right because we want to fill in all of the columns in the third row so i have a variable called column is equal to zero and we're running this as long as column is less than seven so this value right here of course we're going to increment this that way we can go through every space we are going to want to be in this for loop we don't need that there and inside of this for loop we want to be in the third row right so if it's the third row index wise we are going to be dealing with the second index of of this it's because we have zero one two three four we'll have uh data well actually it's zero one two three we'll have data and then inside of here we'll have two because we want to start off in the second index of the row and then we are going to have our specific column index be uh, decided by whatever column we are looking at currently so column and this is going to be equal to and we want to store the numbers one through seven inside of here so what i can do is not really base it off of this since this starts at one or since it starts at zero but what we could do is make a new value call us int a is equal to one since we start at one and we'll just do a plus plus that way it increments every single time and we add on to this pressing submit here uh, i am missing or i'm probably misspelled this yep misspelled that so we can resubmit it with correct spelling passing two out of two tests that's how you do the self-check problem.